To do order of operations, you must go through the following steps in order. First, we have to simplify the expression within the parentheses and other grouping symbols. So the grouping symbols can also include brackets, absolute value bar, fraction bars, and radicals. If embedded parentheses are present, which means you have parentheses within parentheses, you're going to start within the innermost parentheses and then work your way outward. Two, evaluate expressions involving exponents, radicals, and absolute values. Third, perform multiplication or division in the order that they occur from left to right, and then perform addition or subtraction in the order they occur from left to right. So, a lot to remember, but there's an acronym for order of operations, and it is called PEMDAS. And it stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So let's see how it works. Simplify the expressions. So we have 17 minus 3 times 2 plus 2 squared. So we start off with parentheses. There are none, so we don't have to worry about it. Exponents. We got a square right here, so we're going to do that. So 17 minus 3 times 2 plus 2 squared, which is going to give us 4. No more exponents, so we're done. We're on to multiplication, and the only thing that's multiplying is 3 times 2. So 17 minus 6 plus 4. No more multiplication, so we skip on to division. There is no division here, so we skip on to addition and subtraction. And those can be done at the same time, so we can just do from left to right. 17 minus 6, which is going to give us 11 plus 4, and then 11 plus 4 is going to give us 15. So 15 is this expression simplified. Next we have 28 minus 2 bracket parentheses 6 minus 3 squared plus 4 close bracket. So just to remind myself of the order of operations, just write out the acronym. And we know we start off with parentheses. And since we got bracket, but within the bracket we have a parentheses, so we're going to start in the innermost. So 6 minus 3. So 28 minus 2 bracket. And then parentheses, we're going to get 3 squared plus 4. Close bracket. Now we're done with the parentheses here. Next step is the exponents within this bracket, which is going to be the 2. So we're going to square the 3. So 28 minus 2, 9 plus 4. No more exponent. Move on to multiplication. No multiplying here. Next is division. No division. Next is addition and subtraction. And we do have 9 plus 4. So 28 minus 2 bracket 9 plus 4 is 13 and then we're done with that and now we start back over again parentheses got a 13 nothing to really worry about so move on to the next one exponents no exponents move on to the next multiplication 2 and 13 so 2 times 13 is 26 so 28 minus 26 Again, no division. And now we're on to addition and subtraction, which there's no addition, it's only subtraction. So 28 minus 26 is going to give us 2. So the simplified version of this expression comes out to be just a 2. Last, we have 6.2 minus absolute negative 2.1 plus square root of 15 minus 6. So, remind myself of the order of operations. And then we start off with parentheses, which is going to be our absolute value bar and what's underneath the radical symbol. So, 6.2 minus the absolute value of negative 2.1. The absolute value is always going to end up being positive, so we're going to call this a positive 2.1. 
plus, and then 15 minus 6 is going to give us 9. So no more parentheses. We do have this here, but since it's a positive, we can just rewrite this as 6.2 minus 2.1 plus square root of 9. So we don't longer have the parentheses to bother us. Next is exponents. Nothing obvious, but technically the square root falls under the exponent uh, heading. So we're going to take the square root of 9, which is going to give us 3. And we don't have any multiplication. Again, we have no division. So now we're going on to addition and subtraction. So we can do 6.2 minus 2.1, which is going to give us. 4.1 plus 3, and then 4.1 plus 3 is going to give us 7.1. So this expression simplified down is going to give us 7.1.